Gregory Rose and I'm the city manager for University City. I want to review with you a few of the actions that were taken over the weekend just in an effort to ensure that you are informed about not just the actions but some of the rationale behind the actions. This pandemic has placed us in a period of unique and challenging times. For those born after 9-11 or that were too young to remember it, this is the first crisis that you are living through. My daughter falls into that category. And seeing the impacts of the coronavirus in Italy, Spain, China, New York, California, Washington State, is very scary for her. I say to you what I say to my daughter, we are going to be just fine. However, to be just fine, we must take precautions to preserve our health and safety. It is with that backdrop that certain actions were taken on Friday, March the 20th, when I signed the declaration ordering officially a state of emergency in University City as a result of the coronavirus. The executive order confirms the closing of Centennial Commons and the community center confirms the cancellation of boards, committees, and commission meetings. It confirmed the suspension of court proceedings by the St. Louis County Circuit Court. It appointed St. Louis County's Director of Management and Emergency Services as the coordinator of emergency operations for University City. It canceled all of our recreational programs offered by University City, and among other things, it paved the way for the closing of City Hall to the general public. Consistent with all of the actions being taken to minimize the spread of the coronavirus, the closing of City Hall was not taken lightly. It was only done so in an effort to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Residents and citizens wanting to interact with staff should do so electronically, if at all possible. On the rare occasion when you are unable to do a electronic meeting with our staff, please call to make an appointment. The number you should call is 314-862-6767. This enables staff to ensure the room you will be meeting in has received a deep cleaning before the meeting occurs. It also enables us to ensure that the room will accommodate the social distancing recommendations that have been established by the Center for Disease Control. There are other actions taken over the weekend that I'd like to brief you on as well. In concert with St. Louis County's Executive Sam Pages, Executive Order 15 and the Companion Stay-at-Home Order issued by Acting St. Louis County Chief of Medical Officer Dr. Emily Doucette that were issued on Saturday, March the 21st. I have directed the closure of playgrounds but requested that the parks as well as the dog park remain open to the public. Our staff will remain available as government services were exempted from the order. The meeting of the mayor and council that was scheduled for tonight was canceled out of an, an abundance of caution for the members on the city council and to maintain our high standard of transparency in government. The mayor and council are certainly aware that many of you like to participate in the citizens participation section of the agenda. Finally, this pandemic emergency continues to evolve at a very fast pace. The actions that have been taken today are very likely not the final actions that will be taken in an effort to manage this pandemic. It is the commitment of the mayor and council and staff to ensure that you continue to be informed as this unfolds. To assist us with managing the coronavirus, I would ask that you wash your hands frequently 
And please, 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 if you are able to, stay at home. Thank you so much.